y'all my birthday is around the corner okay today is the 28th of june and my birthday is on july the 9th which means i have about about 11 days i'm not sure if june goes to 30 or 31st i'm just gonna assume that i have about 11 or 12 days to my birthday i'll be 25 years old and what i wanted to come on here is just have a real talk with y'all about how i've been feeling going into this big age 25 i'm gonna say 25 because i'm gonna be 25 okay and lately i've been feeling all these different emotions you guys let's talk about like the last two weeks um i've kind of feeling my glasses on because i can't really okay the last few weeks i have felt very um unmotivated just not really just engaged um and all the things i have going on i'm not really feeling like and y'all i'm gonna take my glasses off because i can see the the glare and it's not but um i don't know how to describe the feeling that i'm feeling and i need y'all to let me know if it's just me because how long y'all get into the girls because i first a few months ago i watched christy b styles if y'all don't follow her make sure y'all go follow her um she's one of like one of my favorite favorite influencers because she keeps it so real and i feel like every time she going through something we kind of going through the same thing so i was watching her video um a few months ago about her just not feeling like herself um she's going into 25 and like at that age she has so much stuff like planned out you know when she was younger like i want to be married i want to be this i want to be that and for the last few months like the last few weeks i just not felt like myself like and granted i'm i'm starting a new business i have a business right now um I have so much to be thankful for. I have a full-time job. I have not have had to want for anything, and I'm always grateful for that because God has provided to for me throughout this whole pandemic. So ultimately, I have nothing to be. Um, I have everything to be grateful for. But for some reason, I've been feeling like I'm just not doing enough, and I know that I'm doing enough. But it's like in the back of my head, I feel like I could be doing more, and. Like I said, I don't know if it's the new age, 25. Like I said, I have, I, just like Chrissy B was saying, like I had all these things planned out for myself, like where I wanted to be in life, how I wanted to do it, where I wanted to be, this, this, and that. And um, a lot of places I'm not there, but a lot of places I feel like I wanted to be God and have that in plan, in, in, in my plan. Like, um, and you know, when you're younger, you kind of plan out your life. Like, oh, I want to be this by these, this by these, this by that. And when you get to that certain age where like you're actually like this is a big age and i'm not this i don't have this i don't have that i don't have this it's kind of like a little discouraging and you start overthinking like why am i not doing this why am i doing that am i doing enough blah, 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 blah. and your mind goes everywhere so that's kind of been me for the last few days so um i was sitting down with my girlfriend was sitting on the couch and I had just started telling her how I was feeling because we talk deep all the time. We don't hold secrets. And we just try to, you know, make sure we keep each other updated with how we feeling. So, um, I think the week before I actually told her, she was like, baby, what's been up with you? I'm like, what you mean? She was like, you haven't been recording. You haven't posted nothing about the boutique. You haven't did this. You haven't been posting on Instagram consistently. This, this, and that. And she now has a goal. I have a goal of a, a 10K followers by the end of the year. So it's like, when she, when she see me not doing all these things, of course she's gonna call me out on my bullshit because she wants me to be great. And it wasn't necessarily her calling me out on my bullshit. She was just like, baby, like, what, what's up? Like, what's been going on? And I was just like, I don't know. I just haven't been feeling it. And then I think it was last week I decided to come out to her about how I had been feeling lately. Like, I had been feeling, like, kind of unmotivated. Um, really, like, I'm stagnant and where I am right now. And I literally had to stop myself, like, sis, let's talk about it. 
you are right in the moment that you pray for. You have a full-time job in your career that you got your degree in. You're getting your master's degree. You are starting a new business. You're launching this. You're doing this. You're doing that. And though you have those moments where you are um, still and stagnant, you are still that girl. You are still that chick. So um, I just kind of had to get that together too. And y'all, what really made me open my eyes is I went to church for the first time in person since the pandemic. So they opened my church for Mother's Day, but me and Ree, Ree is my girlfriend, we were on vacation in Austin. And so I wasn't able to go. And when I say I was so hurt, I was so hurt. So um, last weekend was Father's Day, but the week like the the week before that, I had DM the um, Instagram page of my church, church, and I was like, "Hey, you know when you got?" I said, "When would you guys be open?" And they was like, "June twentieth for Father's Day." Baby, <laughs> that's how y'all gotta stay because I'm gonna be in attendance. I thought church started at nine o'clock like usual, but the schedule changed, I guess, because of the pandemic, and church really didn't start till ten. So I guess it was early me i got there around like i think i want to say i got there right on not right at nine o'clock so i ended up seeing my one of my aunt's friends and i signed in and not signed in she took my temperature and then they started opening the door for the church at 9 30. and when i say y'all the praise and worship was there the the sanctuary was there like i started crying and i could not stop crying and i could not really understand why I was crying so much, but it's because I was so grateful. And at that very moment, I had to tell myself to stop being so hard on yourself. Stop comparing yourself. Stop feeling like you're not doing enough when you're right in the places that you pray for. You need to learn patience. So at that point, I had to go off on myself. Self, get it together, period. Cause you're doing all that for what? For what? What are you doing all that for? So at that very moment, I had to suck it up, get out my feelings, get myself together, and then I had to go on about my business, point blank, period. So, um, so this is my first video since, um, I don't know when the, what's the last video I put out, but this is my almost 25 birthday um, post, and I'm here to encourage anybody who is reaching a, a new age and feeling like they're not doing enough, feeling like they haven't found their purpose, feeling like just unmotivated. Y'all see what my shirt say, motivated AF, cause I got all the motivation now. And y'all, I just started doing stuff, and my girlfriend was like, "You need this is what you need to be doing." She gave me a list of stuff that I need to be doing. So I'm saying, I, I, she got me all the way together. And um, I always say sometimes you got to get yourself together. Before, uh, like people could get you together, but sometimes you got to snap back into yourself. But y'all, in this instance, she, she got me all the way together. <laughs> all I could say was thank you, baby, because she literally got me all the way together. Uh, I'm almost 25 years old, and I'm so grateful that God allowed me to see 24 years of age. Uh, I, I always, when I wake up in the morning, I always say thank you, God, because, you know, you, you really just never know. And I feel like you every, any day you see a new day, you need to just thank God that you're able to see a new day. So the, um, that was one of the today. I mean, those days was, lately it's just been one of those days. Um, but overall, I'm forever grateful for being able to do the things I'm doing, helping other people. Even just um, just helping people at my job every day, because my job is to help people out. So <laughs> helping people every day in my full-time job, um, helping those around me, as well as trying to help myself out, picking myself up when I don't feel motivated, picking myself up when I'm not feeling like myself. And overall, I'm just grateful. Um, to anybody out there who is turning a new age and has just not been feeling like their self, have been feeling down, I'm here to motivate you to know that it is okay to feel down sometimes. 
but it's time to pick yourself up because we can't stay on this slump too long. You got to get up and you got to get the ball rolling. You cannot stay on your phone too long because you got things to do, people to see. So in a few days, I'll be 25 years old and I'll be celebrating with my closest friends. And I just want to say thank you, God. Um, point blank, period. So yeah, I got this sweater from Ms. Lola's um, and I'll see if they still have it and I'll try to uh, place it down below. But yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Period. Yeah.